Hi everyone, welcome to another RF Crypto simple explanation video. In this video, we will have a look at blockchain oracles and how they play a pivotal role in the execution of various types of smart contracts. The video will additionally discuss the different forms of oracles, the potential drawbacks of oracles, and examples to illustrate how they can be used in real life situations. However, before we speak about oracles, we have to talk about smart contracts. Basically, smart contracts are self-operating computer programs that automatically execute when specific conditions are met. You can think of a smart contract as a vending machine. Just like a vending machine is configured to take in dollars and dispense your item of choice, smart contracts work in a similar way using ether as fuel or gas fees to execute the code based on pre-configured rules. Now let's take a look at an example of a smart contract in the insurance industry. Let's assume that Adams take flight insurance and he is about to fly from London to Paris. He sends $5 worth of cryptocurrency to an ABC insurance smart contract and provides his flight number. ABC insurance, on the other hand, sends $95 to the same smart contract. So there is $100 in total in the smart contract. If Adam's flight is on time, ABC Insurance is sent $100 from the smart contract. But if the plane is late, $100 is sent to Adam from the smart contract. Therefore, Adam is sure that he will get compensation if the flight is late in exchange of a premium of $5. So if the flight is on time, he loses $5, which is not a large amount to pay However, if his flight is delayed, he's sure that he will get $100 or $95 net if you discount the cost of the insurance. In this process, everything is automatic. This saves a lot of time and money. It also means that Adam does not have to trust that ABC Insurance will pay him the agreed amount if his flight is late. He knows for a fact that if it is late, the smart contract will execute and instantly send him his compensation of $100. But how does the smart contract know if Adam's plane is on time or not? The answer is... Oracles. An oracle sends data from the outside world to a blockchain, such as Ethereum, which is the most commonly used blockchain for smart contracts. A smart contract on the blockchain can then use the data to execute itself typically to make a decision whether to dispense money and to whom. In the example relating to flight insurance with Adam, the Oracle feeds the smart contract with real-time flight information based on the flight number provided by Adam to the smart contract. This information in turn allows the smart contract to determine whether the flight was on time or late and allow for the smart contract's execution or non-execution. And this is all done without the need for third party or intermediary. It's all automatic. So in essence, oracles act as a bridge that can digest external and non-deterministic information into a particular format that a blockchain can understand and execute particular conditions with. Let's move on to looking at different forms of oracles that exist. We have hardware and software oracles, with hardware oracles being typically sensors integrated within tangible physical objects. Let's take for instance a smart contract insurance where drivers pay a premium in the hope of being rewarded for their good behavior on the road. The insurance company installs a physical and braking sensor in the client's vehicle. Drivers who abide by the speed limit and do not brake aggressively will receive their entire premium back so they are incentivized to drive properly. However, drivers guilty of speeding and braking recklessly will lose their entire premium and receive nothing. On the other hand, software oracles are the most common form of oracles that pull data from third-party sources such as web APIs and include real-world information such as flight status and weather data. In the flight insurance example we saw before, the smart contract used the software oracle to pull flight status information,
based on the flight number. We also have inbound and outbound oracles. In essence, oracles establish a two-way communication channel with the blockchain in question, sending data into the blockchain and also out of the blockchain. While outbound oracles can deliver blockchain data to the outside world, inbound oracles are more likely to deliver off-chain or real-world data to the blockchain, such as flight status. Simply put, inbound oracles feed information to execute a smart contract. Outbound oracles send information to the real world about the state and or result of a smart contract. Moving on, we have centralized and decentralized oracles. A centralized oracle is managed by a single entity and serves as the smart contract's sole data source. Using one source of information can be dangerous. This is because the contract's effectiveness is solely dependent on the entity in charge of the oracle. The fundamental issue with centralized oracles is that they have a single point of failure, making contracts more vulnerable to attacks and exploits. In general, while considering the employment of an oracle, the trust model must be carefully considered. You may be sacrificing the smart contract security by exposing it to potentially incorrect inputs if we presume the oracle can be trusted. However, if the security assumptions are carefully considered, oracles can be extremely valuable. Some of these concerns, primarily related to centralized oracles, can be addressed via decentralized oracles, or consensus oracles, as they are most commonly referred to. The smart contract consults several oracles to assess the data's validity and accuracy. This minimizes counterparty risk, as the smart contract is no longer dependent on only one source of information. Now let's look at some real-world use cases of blockchain oracles. Oracles can be used in decentralized finance or DeFi. A large portion of DeFi ecosystem requires oracles to access financial data about assets and markets. For example, decentralized money markets use price oracles to determine users' borrowing capacity and check if users' positions are under collateralized and subject to liquidation, allowing them to make more accurate and less risky decisions. Oracles can also enable non-financial use cases for smart contracts for dynamic NFTs. NFTs that can exchange in appearance, value, or distribution based on external events like the time of the day or the weather. In addition, oracles can be used in gaming. On-chain gaming application also used verifiable randomness to create more engaging and unpredictable gameplay experiences like the appearance of random loot boxes or randomized matchmaking during a tournament. And this can be done using oracles. A final example is how oracles can be used in the maintenance of stablecoins. Real-time information on exchange rates can be used for accurately pegging stablecoins to fiat currency. Now, a final word about oracles. These fantastic innovations can extend the capabilities of blockchain networks by providing access to all the external resources required to harness useful and advanced hybrid smart contract use cases beyond simple tokenization. Similar to how the internet brought forth a significant change in the way information is exchanged, Oracle-powered hybrid smart contracts are redefining the way society exchanges value and enforces contractual agreements. And this brings an end to our conversation regarding oracles. I hope that you have learned what oracles are, their different types, drawbacks, and real-world use case scenarios. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the content, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, leaving a comment on what other topics relating to blockchain you would like to hear about and explain simply, and I would appreciate if you shared this video with your family and friends. Invest wisely and cheers.